Okay, so then mic fell off. Light. Okay, so uh, there has been a lot of development that has been happening. We've done a lot of different things uh, for the startup. We've decided the name. We've bought the domain. Domain buying means the startup has already started. So yes, we've bought the domain. So the first things first. What's the name of the startup? The name that we've decided is. 3melon.com yes so 3melon would be the name of the startup and the reason behind it is because first we were thinking of something uh, with web3 melon and melon because it's my favorite emoji watermelon okay i i know there's a difference between watermelon and melon watermelon would have been a huge name so uh, that's why web3 melon but then we realized that web3 would be a very specific niche and we want to pivot and maybe add more events but before this i had thought of a completely different name which was w3b melon and w3b fruits and something like that but when i talked to ayush he told me that someone had already thought of this idea like why not w3b rather than web3 by the way if you guys want to know how to name your startups then uh, i'll be linking some of the websites maybe it'll come up over here uh, so those websites are something that you can go check out through them you can actually sort the headache of uh, naming your startup because uh, i know that if you start a startup the most important thing after ideating would be the name of the startup so go check out those websites and that would help you out too Okay so what do you do once you buy a domain you make a website and that is exactly what i've done i've made a waiting website for now so there is a small form that you can fill and uh, there is actually a big story behind it so i first made the website on react js and integrated firebase with it but the database was of firebase itself okay so whenever you fill a form the data was getting stored on firebase now the problem was i wouldn't be able to integrate anything else or it would be difficult for me to integrate other things for example sending out emails weekly reminders of different events happening around you it would be difficult for me and that's why i rather than putting it on my firebase database firebase database <laughs> but uh, rather than putting it over there i thought of just making a google form and over there you can just fill out your details but you can also contribute to this particular website uh, it's there on my github and you can even use it for your own startup if you have a startup idea in mind and you just want to you know collect uh, data or collect information about your users beforehand before you actually launch the product uh, you can use that particular website it's completely for free and the whole code is you know there on my github so go check it out okay so i bought the domain from godaddy.com you don't have to buy it from there you can buy it from anywhere but then i integrated it with cloudflare now why did i do that so first off uh, you might have seen various uh, people having their own uh, domain email address for example ali@3melon.com now if i wanted to integrate that i would have to pay additional uh, to the godaddy website and uh, you know they would set up my whole email address and then i'll have to pay for each email address that i want to add for example ali@3melon.com support@3melon.com and all of those email addresses but if i integrate it with cloudflare i wouldn't have to pay anything extra and cloudflare has an option of email you can receive emails from other people on your gmail account directly so yeah that was a quite cool feature that i've seen and that's why i always integrate all my websites with cloudflare plus the security that it provides its uh quite good so i'll make a video on how to do that because i've not done that till now but uh, i'll make a video on that if you want and uh, do let me know in the comment section below i first was thinking of uh, making this whole website wherein people would fill in the form and it would store on my firebase database and then i would send out weekly uh, emails or something like that to people and uh, directly in their inboxes but then i realized that uh, in order to do so i would have to first download the whole data in json form Format and uh, do a bunch of different things, which was a headache in itself. So rather than doing that, I just made a Google form. And if you go over to the three million dot com website, you would be able to fill in that Google form, which just takes like thirty seconds uh, at max, because I wouldn't be filling a form which takes more than that. So I've kept the form very simple. You just have to add in your email address, uh, location, preferences. So for example, if I want to get email updates of Web three events happening in Mumbai. 
Mumbai then uh, I would put in Mumbai or Bangalore or Pune or whatever apart from that we have I think wallet address so that is specifically for sending out NFTs and uh, maybe in the future SBTs and by the way if you don't know what SBT is it is NFT 2.0 and we have talked about it in a podcast that I did with Mirza so there has been a lot of different things happening so go check it out it'll be down in the description box below but we just don't want the waiting website we also want the platform wherein we'll be able to see events wherein we'll be able to interact with them and register for them so what am I doing for that I've actually started with the development and uh, I'm developing it with uh, Next.js so Next.js is a front-end as well as a back-end framework and it uses React.js so that would be quite sorted for me now I myself have not developed any apps using Next.js till now I'm learning it using code with Harry's uh, course so you can go check it out as well it's completely for free and it's on YouTube but I will be linking some other courses as well because that course is completely in Hindi so if you don't understand that if you want some courses in English uh, I'll be linking some of them down in the description box below so that you can learn it along with me and uh, we'll be developing the website together so yeah that is my whole plan apart from that I had a bunch of meetings with my friends I met Ayush I met uh, Mirza Mirza is actually helping me with the uh, UI of the whole website there have been a lot of development that has been happening with block so I'm just mentoring block at this moment but Ayush has been doing a lot of different things over there so you should go check out uh, what they're doing as for three melons future what am I gonna do and uh, what is the whole plan moving forward first of all I want to make sure that the UI is great so for that Mirza is helping me but you guys can too by uh, just sharing some UI designs with me uh, and letting me know what kind of a UI you want of course I've shared the vision of my product in the last video so you can go check it out and try to understand uh, what type of website we are building but uh, as for the UI the color scheme uh, that we are thinking of at this moment is a black uh, background hex code would be 242424 um, how do I remember all of these hex codes but yeah so that is there and then there'll be a yellow highlight for the text um, apart from that we'll have a pinkish red color for the text as well highlights for the text and buttons and apart from that yes the white color would be there for normal text so yeah that's uh, the whole plan that's the whole color scheme for it the reason why I chose this was because melon so yellowish greenish vibe would uh, go well with it plus all the people who are going to come on this platform would be uh, somewhat developers web 2 developers web 3 developers or something of a mixture of those that's why the black background because us developers need websites in the dark mode so yeah that would be there okay so when Ayush came over here we were talking about revenue streams for this whole business venture and I'm not that revenue oriented at this moment for this platform because uh, I feel first we need to build the product first we need to uh, scale the product and have users coming in and then we can you know think about how we can generate revenue from that and I feel um, at that point we would be able to generate revenue anyhow so okay I'm recording this again but uh, my memory got full so Ayush was basically trying to tell me that uh, if we don't think about this right now uh, in the future it would be difficult to change the product it would be difficult to add in those features because we would have already built the product and yeah that would be there and it kind of made sense so that's why I started to give a thought about how we'll be generating revenue uh, some of the ideas that came into my mind were like um, we can host our own events uh, we can be the go-to place for all sponsorships be the connection for you know brands uh, wanting to sponsor different kinds of offline events and online events and uh, us giving the event organizers brands that want to sponsor them so uh, we'll be like the middlemen for doing that then uh, other than that we were thinking of you know featured events would have to pay in order to get themselves featured but let's see I, I these are just you know plans and uh, ideas that we're just having there's a lot of different things that we need to do and the first thing would be the product so just focusing my vision only on the product at this moment uh, not thinking about all of these things and that's why I then met uh, Mirza so Mirza is helping me with the UI as I said and uh, he's 
doing that at this moment right now when I'm recording it and probably would have been done uh, by the time I publish this video so uh, do check out my Instagram profile to stay updated every single day try to help me out as much as possible because this is going to be a team effort not just me but the whole community would be building this so yes uh, bye bye see you in the next video okay by the way I'm going somewhere in the next few days so if you guys can guess where am I going to uh, do let me know in the comment section